Yeah, what's going on everybody? So I Pop King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Today I'm in Sony Vegas Pro 10 and I wanted to give you guys the very, very best tutorial and render settings for any video you put up, but mainly this is for NBA 2K12. Now I've been to a lot of different videos. I've been over probably about 150 videos by now since I began YouTube trying to get the best settings and the actual best time on my uploads and the best file size after renders now I know a, renders take a long time uh, some renders take an hour and a half some renders take three hours some renders even take eight hours depending on your RAM your computer speed the memory you have and I just want I'm just here to tell you guys that I think I have made the best settings now what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna put together a nice little clip of NBA 2k12 and hopefully the settings that you get from this video you will want to use in your future videos hopefully I can win you guys over now I've been like I've said before I've been to a lot of pages so if you see anything in my render settings that you might have seen on a video that you have seen before no problem throw them in the comment box I'll check out their channel you know and, and, and give them big ups you know high five over YouTube <laughs> now let's get into the project video properties alright first off alright as you can see it's 720 by 30 P 1280 by 720 30 frames per second automatically that's the template now I have the exact same template in my name even though it loads in a different name it's still the same template alright now all the settings on the screen currently if you cannot see them please make this video full screen and then change them accordingly you can pause the video at any given time I'm gonna give you guys probably about 10 seconds to view all the settings and of course you know you can pause it so you have unlimited time <laughs> so um but the main thing is that I do want to tell you guys is the pixel format when I mean the pixel format needs to be 32 bit floating point four range trust me it needs to be that now I'm gonna show you guys why it needs to be that but let's move on to the audio now the main thing about the audio is please make it stereo you don't want to be trying to walk around using 5.1 Dolby Digital and surround sound knowing darn well it's not gonna work in people's speakers and it's gonna sound like crap because you know not everyone has you know the money and the equipment to run that type of audio now back to the video all you gotta do is click start all new projects with these settings and trust me you'll be golden now let's put a few clips together you guys first off I'm gonna drag in my intro um, basically the way my intros go is there are two videos in one all I did was render them together you have my iPod King Carter Superman emblem and you have the NBA 2k12 pre-roll basically now with these two basically look look at the screen right now the iPod King Carter looks very very bright very very you know vibrant and that's without any color curves any color corrector and this is the reason why like I said before this 32 bit floating point four range needs to be added now I'm gonna change it to the regular setting this is what it regularly looks like when you load up Sony Vegas and you just put a video in there let me change it to 8 bit now let me click apply look how dull it looks now it doesn't have any life it just and then this is the reason why people add so much color corrector to their videos to make them look more alive you don't need to do that as long as you have full range you dig me <laughs> now basically let me go over how to put audio within a clip let me show you guys this real fast all right now with this part this is basically a nice little audio clip that I had um, done by a swag chick basically if you want to cut out some audio or even make it a little bit lower all you gotta do is split the clip alright all you gotta do is just drag it down you know below create a whole new audio track and take it down a little bit you know probably about to about 14.7 uh, you can keep the intro all at zero but basically let me show you and let you hear what it'll actually sound like if you put a clip in the clip YouTube. 
All right, you heard that? It was very easy, you know. When the intro first started off, it was loud. Then it got a little bit lower so you can actually hear the person talking. And a lot of people mess that up because, you know, they may be talking regular, but they forget to lower their game volume just enough so they can hear it themselves over the video after it's rendering. You know, you got to sit there and re-render it and keep going. And it's, it's, it's very messed up, but let's move on to the next thing. All right, the next thing that I usually do is I add in my video. Now, when I add in my videos, um, sometimes there are borders on the videos and you have to try to fix them and, and you go through so much. And by the time you get done with the video, you might have cut out a part of the video and half of that half of the video. Now, look at this. Now, check out these borders right here, you guys. Right here on the, on the top and on the right side of the videos. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to right click the entire audio clip. Before you start chopping up your audio and your video, please do this. You want to click on properties. You want to disable the resample. You want to reduce interlace flicker. And you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Because when you uncheck maintain aspect ratio, you're able to take the borders off without taking the video with it. <laughs> now, Let's do this. We're gonna click on Event Pan and Crop. It's this little box right here, right at the end of each of your clips. Now, I have presets set. Um, I have Midnight Club, NBA 2K, Black Ops. I even have a, a clip for Waza now, you know, when <laughs> when I'm doing a little bit of editing for him, you know. We, we, we all stick together in this, so you know, we, we all have presets set for each other because he records on Xbox, so his videos may look a little bit different with the borders. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this regular, and then I'm going to put my template on it. So basically, all you want to do is click on it and pull it over to the left. Now you see how the black is starting to disappear from the clip, and now it's completely gone. And you want to do the same thing at the top. Look at that. Now you don't have any more borders up here. Your video looks square. Now, check it out. Um, if I click on NBA 2K video, look how it adjusts itself. And now it's perfect. Now, after doing that, I usually add in a little thing called a watermark, you know, to make sure that the video is being seen as mine or my property and basically I have a Game Face Studios watermark so what I usually do is I add in a video track once I do that I just put in the Game Face watermark anywhere I want on the video and stretch it so all we're gonna do is stretch this out to the end of the video and to the beginning of the video now see how it's all over the place and you can't see anything that's why we have templates now what you can do is you can actually do it the manual way but it takes a very long time see check this out you got to pull it all the way out and just keep going like you have to keep pulling it all day long look at this this this, this would take you forever so if you doing this trust me you are gonna want to make a template <laughs> now look check that out that's the best I could do by pulling it manually now check out what would happen if I did it for a template now usually I use NBA 2k watermark because when I do that it'll be in the bottom left check it check that out out of the way and conspicuous but still on the video <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it up top because that NBA 2k 12 is just drawing so much attention right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use MCLA watermark now when you look at NBA 2k 12 can you see that right there very nice right now it looks very HD um, it's looking in best full right now if you press play it might go back down to preview but you never know so let me just hit the play button yep it went to preview half and so the video can play and you know you can actually see what it's doing but let me pause that now let's get into the final part of the video I know I've been holding you guys up for a while but let's get into the render now I know it's on mp3 right now don't mind me I was doing some other stuff but <laughs> what I render in is WMV I'm sh I'm taking shots at everybody all you guys out there that render in mp4 get a life Listen, I cannot be taking no four hours for my video to render 
just to upload it to YouTube. I don't care what nobody say. WMV is the wave. I put my man Waza now on. I put my man Shooter187 on. I put everybody on the WMV, man. I'm telling you, WMV is the wave. Now, let's go into the settings. I have a nice little template right here. Um, it's usually 6 MBPS, you know, HD video. Now, let me go into custom. All right, now, I use CBR mode. I use Windows Media Audio 9.2, and I use 192 kilobytes per second, 48 kilohertz. Now, let's go into the video part of it. I use CBR like I said before. I use Windows Media Video 9, high def, 1280 by 720, nothing less, nothing more. You know, if you want to run this 1080p, like my man was it now, trust me, you're going to need yourself a nice set of RAM. <laughs> now, my frame rate is uh, 30 frames. Uh, seconds per keyframe is 5. Um, I overrid the uh, default compression buffer to 3. And the video smoothness is to 100%, the sharpest. Now, bit rate. Um, all I did was change it to 6M, you know, so it can match my actual template up here. So that's all you really need if you want to get your video out there. You don't need to put it at 8, 9, 13, all of that. You don't need to do all of that because it's going to it's gonna make the file sizes bigger. It's going to kill your computer. And, you know, your computer just won't have enough life to even, you know, finish the render. Now, index and summary doesn't mean anything, but the project, the video rendering quality needs to be at best at all times. Make sure it's at best. Now, um, let me throw my outro on it real quick. All right, now let's see. All right, throw the outro on it, and I believe that the video is complete. Yep, all right, the video is complete and ready for render. So let's see how long it would take. All right, now. What it's going to do is it's going to try to compensate for all the RAM and speed that I use on my computer. Now I do have one thing that I learned from Chase Money. Um, what you can do is you can go into your task manager on your computer and you can set the priority to Sony Vegas to high. It will speed up the render but it will make your computer incapacitated. Like you just won't be able to use your computer like at all. Like. I mean straight up like your computer will like probably die <laughs> but um, if you want to do that you can also you can turn the priority to low the render may take longer but your computer will run at effective speed and you'll get the things that you need to get done while rendering at the same exact time now as this is going up and up and up and up and up um, I can't tell where it's gonna stop but if I'm at 1% and it's saying that I'm only one minute in, just just think about it, man. But um, this is IKC signing out. I'm actually, I am going to render this just to let you guys know. And this video might be up sometime soon, so <laughs> stick around, man. IKC signing out. Peace.